The U.S. Navy receives the latest version of the F.A-18 Super Hornet fighter. Aerospace giant Boeing announced Monday that it is delivering the first of 78 contracted Block 3F A-18 Super Hornets to the U.S. Navy. According to the company's news release, the Block 3 provides the Navy with the most networked and survivable F A-18 built with plans to incorporate technology that will outperform future threats. The fleet needs capabilities to maintain its superiority, said Captain Jason Stuff Denny the U.S. Navy's F, A-18 and EA-18G program manager. Getting the first operational Block 3 in our hands is a good step forward in supporting our capability and readiness goals. The new Block 3 additional processor translates into a fighter that will do more work and in far less time increase pilot situational awareness. Jet is ready to accept application-based solutions that enable upgrades to aircraft throughout their lifetime. We are investing in Block 3 technology and developing capabilities in partnership with the U.S. Navy to meet emerging requirements, said Jen Tebo, Boeing Vice President for the F.A-18 and EA-18G programs. The hardware upgrade is complete. Today we leverage open hardware and software and develop applications to guard Block 3 from future threats. We provide Navy pilots with the tools to make the fastest and informed decisions possible now and in the future. Boeing will continue to deliver Block 3 capabilities to the Navy through the mid-2030s from three lines. One new production build and two service life modification lines extend the service life and eventually upgrade the Block 2 Super Hornet to Block 3. The first aircraft delivered will complete the U.S. Navy's flight test program before deploying to squadrons. The Boeing F-A-18E and F-A-18F Super Hornet are twin-engine, carrier-capable, multirole fighter aircraft variants based on the McDonnell Douglas F.A-18 Hornet. The F.A-18E single-seat and tandem-seat F.A-18F variants are larger and more advanced derivatives of the F.A-18C and D Hornet. The Super Hornet has an internal 20mm M61 rotary cannon and can carry air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-surface weapons. Additional fuel can be carried in up to five external fuel tanks and the aircraft can be configured as an air tanker by adding an external air-to-air -air refueling system. Designed and originally manufactured by McDonnell Douglas, the Super Hornet first flew in 1995. Low-level production began in early 1997 with full-level production starting in September 1997, following the merger of McDonnell Douglas and Boeing the previous month. The Super Hornet entered fleet service with the United States Navy in 1999, replacing the Grumman F-14 Tomcat, which was retired in 2006. The Super Hornet has been presented alongside the original Hornet. The Royal Australian Air Force RAAF, which has operated the F-A-18A as its main fighter since 1984, ordered the F-A-18F in 2007 to replace its aging General Dynamics F-111C fleet. The RAAF Super Hornet entered service in December 2010. The Super Hornet is a redesign of the McDonnell Douglas F.A-18 Hornet. The wing and tail configuration traces its origins to Northrop's prototype aircraft, P-530, c. 1965, which began as a rework of the lightweight Northrop F-5E, with larger wings, twin tail fins and a distinctive four-tip root extension, or LERX. 5. Later flying as the Northrop YF-17 Cobra, it competed in the United States Air Force's Light Fighter Program (LWF) to produce a smaller and simpler fighter for the larger McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. The YF-17 lost out to the YF-16. The Navy directed that the YF-17 be redesigned into the larger F-A-18 Hornet to meet requirements for a multi-role fighter to complement the larger and more expensive Grumman F-14 Tomcat serving as a fleet defense interceptor and superiority role. Air. Dot. Hornet proved to be effective but limited in combat radius. The enlarged Hornet concept was first proposed in the 1980s, which was marketed by McDonnell Douglas as the 2000 Hornet. The Hornet 2000 concept is an advanced F.A-18 with larger wings and a longer fuselage to carry more fuel and a more powerful engine. The end of the Cold War led to a period of considerable military budget cuts and restructuring. At the same time, U.S. Navy aviation faced a number of problems. 
The McDonnell Douglas A-12 Avenger 2 was cancelled in 1991 after the program ran into serious problems. It was intended to replace the obsolete Grumman A-6 Intruder. The Navy is considering updating an existing design as a more attractive approach to the clean sheet program. As an alternative to the A-12, McDonnell Douglas proposed the Super Hornet, originally the Hornet 2, in the 1980s, an improvement over the previous successful F, A-18 model, which could serve as a replacement for the A-6 Intruder. The design of the next-generation Hornet proved more attractive than Grumman's quick-strike upgrade to the F-14 Tomcat, which was considered an inadequate technological leap over the existing F-14. VFA-143, Pukin Dogs, F-14B and F, A-18E-2005 at the time, the Grumman F-14 Tomcat was the primary air superiority fighter and defense interceptor of the Navy fleet. The then Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney described the F-14 as 1960s technology, and drastically reduced F-14D procurement in 1989 before cancelling production altogether in 1991, in favor of the updated F-A-18E, F. The decision to replace the Tomcat with an all-Hornet carrier air wing was controversial. Vietnam War ace and Congressman Duke Cunningham criticized the Super Hornet as a proven design that compromised air superiority. In 1992, the Navy cancelled the Navy's Advanced Tactical Fighter, NATF, which would be the naval variant of the Air Force's Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. As a cheaper alternative to NATF, Grumman proposed substantial improvements to the F-14 beyond Quick Strike, but Congress rejected it as too expensive and reaffirmed its commitment to the cheaper F, A-18E, F. Volume underscore up content underscore copy share star underscore border.